like you said, like the seesaw dropping to these extremes where you have extreme cravings and then you have, or, or, you know, your, your sleep is being dramatically affected. Yeah. You know, it, it's funny, right? Cause people think uh, they have this perception that they can win a, a game of willpower against their physiology. And you simply can't, you know, when you're, when you're battling your biochemistry or your physiology or metabolism, it doesn't care about your timetables, your convenience factors, or your desires. It's going to do what it does. It's almost like being in a tug of war match with a team that is incredibly strong and that you can't beat. And you're, you keep trying to pull them and they just yank you off your feet. The only way you win that game is you let go of the rope. And letting go of the rope is essentially what you just described. It's essentially saying, I'm no longer going to try to just take a calories only approach. I'm not going to just try to eat less and exercise more and willpower my way to this. Instead, I'm going to learn the language of the metabolism. And it, it's sort of a pithy phrase, but hopefully you'll remember. And it goes like this. The metabolism doesn't speak English. The metabolism speaks metabolism. And you need to learn to speak that language. And so what happens is once you start to learn what it's telling you, these biofeedback sensations of heck and schmeck, now you have a sense of what direction to go.